This is Jeanette from China, and this is the sixth episode of What to Do as a Business Traveler here in China. Today, I'm very excited to bring you guys to join me to attend a networking event here in Shenzhen. This event has invited a lot of aspiring entrepreneurs, tech startups, management people from Fortune 500 companies based here in Shenzhen, as well as professionals and talents from Hong Kong. Tonight's event is at Eden Garden Rooftop Bar in Hilton Hotel in Shenzhen Shekou. And since today is Saturday, I also booked myself a room to stay overnight. And the event will start at 7.30 and currently it is only 5 p.m. So let me show you guys around how this place looks like. Okay, let's go. The hotel locates in the southwestern part of Shenzhen in Nanshan District, Shokou area, facing Hong Kong across the Shenzhen Bay. The hotel comprises two parts, the high-rise main building, which opened in 2015 with 323 rooms, and the low-rise Nan Hai Wing with 218 rooms. Nan Hai Wing was reborn with the original structure of Nan Hai Hotel, established in 1986 as one of China's pioneering deluxe hotels. Nanhai in Chinese means South Sea. I'm staying in the Nanhai Wing, an oasis-like area surrounded by lush tropical landscaping. After checking in at the main building, the shuttle bus picked me up at the south gate and transferred me to the Nanhai Wing. It seems that I'm the only passenger in this shuttle bus uh, at this moment. I'm gonna check in. While the lobby of the main building is grandeur in style, Nanhai Wing welcomes you with soft yellow lighting, wooden decor, and comfortable furniture to make you feel right at home. Now, let's have a room tour. On the left side of the entrance, you will find the cozy coffee and tea area. This small suite includes a comfortable bedroom and a living area, with a desk for you to work and a meeting area with a comfortable sofa and traditional Chinese tea sets, making it the perfect choice for business travelers. Inside the bedroom is a king-size bed with a small sofa. I really like this foldable reading lamp. Thumbs up! The bedroom and washroom are separated by a convenient sliding door. The bathtub is equipped with complimentary luva and a bath salt. You can enjoy a spa-like experience with a bubble bath after a long day's work. There are two washing basins with washing soap and body lotion provided. You will also find the basic amenities such as toothbrush, shower cap, combs and shavers. The shower room is hidden behind the glass door. It has a rain shower and detachable shower head with branded shower gel, shampoo, and hair conditioner provided. Outside the bathing area is the corridor that connects the entrance. The sliding door design adds a modern touch while maximizing space, ensuring each area functions independently and undisrupted. After the room tour, let's go outside and have a look around before the sun goes down. This hotel has two buildings. One is the main building, the other one is the Nanhai Wing building that we are staying in tonight. The main building is more for like business people and the Nanhai Wing is more for like holiday mood. And currently I'm walking towards the main building because that's where the bar are located. I met this gentleman from Germany. He works in Shenzhen. He's waiting for his kid with his wife on the 16th floor. Hi. As today, the kindergarten is organizing a picnic downstairs. How sweet! Obviously, we're still very early. 
early at this moment, um, but I believe the view will be very different later on. So that one is the Yacht Club. Um, and there are some other buildings that are under construction at this moment. And this is where we stay in the Nan Hai Wing. Two hours later. Just got changed, so it's more appropriate for a business meeting. Okay, let's go. I sit here and talk to the girls. The party is very lively with interesting events and engaging conversations. After chatting with around 10 people, I step away from the crowd to savor the beauty of this dynamic city illuminated by neon lights and refreshed by the sea breeze. Hey y'all, good morning. I really had a good and fruitful event last night. Uh, the event started at uh, 7.30 and ends at uh, uh, 12 p.m. And there are around 200 people participating in the event. I left the party um, after 9.30 because as you can hear, my voice has already gone. I've talked to around like 20 to 30 people and after the event, uh, we have a, you know, 200 people WeChat group and people can still add you uh, even if they have not talked to you um, after the event. I should say this is really an inspiring and fruitful event because uh, people come from different industries and you can really exchange ideas and learn new things. Uh, sometimes when we focus too much on one area, it is very helpful for us to talk to people from a different indus industry to get new ideas, you know, get to get some like inspiring thought. And I think that is the uh, most important thing and most meaningful thing for us to participate in an event like this. And the other thing I want to say is the event here in Shenzhen are quite different uh, from that in Hong Kong. Because in Hong Kong, you have a lot of um, industry focused events such as like a financial forum while well, in Shenzhen the event is more like dynamic and what impressed me the most is the energy that you can feel while you're participating in the event uh, because no matter those people are at their age of 20 plus 30 plus or 40 plus they're all very energetic even till like 12 p.m. at night they send you a WeChat they continue to want to talk to you. That's so different from what we do in Hong Kong. And usually people after after 9 p.m. or even after the event, people like to communicate with each other through email or WhatsApp during working hours. But in Shenzhen, this is you know purely normal. Uh, if you're an e-commerce buyer and if you want to discuss some business with people living in Shenzhen, you will find that there is no problem if you want to have like a Zoom call with them um, after 8 p.m. after their normal working hour. So this is the this is the culture. People are more business driven. They are more like business oriented, and this is what I really got really impressed. The interesting thing in Shenzhen, while you are attending such event, is after talking two minutes. People will add your WeChat because on this type of event, you're not supposed to continuously talk to one person for like half an hour or 40 minutes for a very deep conversation. People just um, briefly get to know, okay, what you do and uh, uh, how 
potentially we can collaborate with each other in the future and they will immediately add your WeChat. Usually there's no like email communications among people doing business in China. So some overseas friends are not quite used to such culture. Professionally, we still like to send each other email. Uh, but here in China, we always, no matter you're sending like files, videos, introductions, brochures, catalog, whatever, everything are through WeChat. Uh, although today is Sunday, just now I had received uh, five friend verification on WeChat uh, because for people in Shenzhen, there's no weekend. By the time people wake up, it's time to do business. And now it's 7.30, so let's go and have some breakfast. Because this is not only a business hotel, uh, it is also a family hotel. So during the weekend, there's a lot of families bringing their kids to come to the hotel to stay. In Shenzhen, um, nowadays, uh, people are more relaxed. It's quite different from other cities. When you go uh, to a hotel, it's only for business. But here in Shenzhen, people balance the life and work pretty well. Um, although, they still add your WeChat uh, on Sunday, but they also know how to enjoy the life if they have the time and they think it's time for them to have holidays. The hotel offers both Western and Chinese style of breakfast. In the Western corner, it offers freshly baked bread, crisp salad, and hot dishes such as sizzling bacon, golden roasted potatoes, and tasty sausages. But since you are in China, be sure to indulge in the local cuisine to wake up your taste bud and treat your senses to an unforgettable experience. Now it's time for some Chinese food. The first dish is called tofu nao, which is steamed tofu that has a delightful pudding-like texture. Actually, this is an enhanced version of uh, tofu now because traditionally we only have the steamed tofu plus the soy sauce and some dry shrimp. And in this one, they added like dry shrimp, chili sauce, and the peanut. So this is a very enhanced version. Actually, in Hong Kong, you also you can also find like sweet version of it, and people eat it as a kind of like dessert. Um, but for northern people like me, when I grow up. Uh, this is the typical type of like breakfast uh, that I ate. It can uh, give you the protein, the sodium, you know, different kind of like nutrients that you need. The other Chinese dish I had is called changfen. It is made from a crystal rice flour batter, which is carefully scooped out with a large spoon and evenly spread onto a hot plate. Next, add a variety of tasty fillings like egg, beef or pork, as well as other ingredients to suit your preference. Then, transfer it to a steamer and let it cook for 1 to 2 minutes. To really elevate the flavor, we will drizzle it with a specially curated soy sauce. Okay, after one round of walking and breakfast, I feel more energetic. And that's all for today. If you like my video, welcome to subscribe to my channel. And see you next time. Bye-bye.